The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It's familiar, but not too familiar, but not too Everybody and welcome to my brother, my brother, mean advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy, and I just punched the NOS. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I'm your sweet, and I'm your, I'm your sweet baby brother, Griffin. No. What? No, Justin and I were bringing like a high energy thing, and you kind of came in scary. No, I think he gave. I think he's I think like I the bad, pretty, the wild man. I was oh. pretty bad. Yeah, let me go at it a different way because a lot of people when they say like he's the bad boy, like he talks like this, but he could also be a bad boy, like <laughs> I'm, I'm Griffin. Because mm. well, you can know you that, and then do some like sound effects, like some mouth sounds kind of. Sure, thing? sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Griffin, because you know he's up to some shit. Uh huh. Yeah, he's really weak he's a the juice. he is a bad boy. That yeah, but one. I feel like he's a lowercase b, lowercase b bad boy as opposed yeah. to like capital B's all around. And we're like, I'm yeah. a bad boy. I'm, I'm over here with the boy. I'm over here with fucking Knobzilla and the Wolfman. And I'm just a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> you sound Don't. like you're you're like the third host, but also you live in the vents, and we can't get rid of you. Don't open that closet. <laughs> oh boy, that's the prize closet. If you want something out of there, it's your own risk. I, I have a confession to make. I. Uh- Almost every episode, I tend to start now by Googling Britney Spears Uh just to see, like, how she's doing. Yeah. Because I feel like she's on a sort of, like, power groove that no one is, like, people aren't clocking it. It's a qu- it's a quest in the fantastical sense that like she, people rarely actually go on. She's like every, and this is not a mocking of Britney Spears, she's just on some, like, very next level shit and mm. is very much like having a personal journey that is completely about her own power and her own shit. So I just like to Google Britney Spears just to see like what is going on right now over there at that camp. The fucking first headline that pops up uh-huh. from one day ago, Britney Spears makes I open discovery after watching Tim Burton's big eyes. <laughs> 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 So okay, can I may I read the quote as to what the eye opening discovery no, was? No, no, no. I've got the story here. I'm okay. on this tit. Don't fucking Google Britney Spears after I already Googled her. Uh, if you wanted to make it a thing, you should have given it a segment name. The 30 year old pop star took 38 year old pop star took to Instagram on Saturday, August 8th, in the year of our Lord 2020, mm-hmm. to gush about Tim Burton, her favorite director in the whole world, and his 2014 drama about American painter Margaret Keane. Uh, she gives a short synopsis of the film, which stars Amy Adam and Christopher Waltz, a fucking, I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, a minor Tim Burton work that does, I'll admit, have its moments. Uh, and here's her quote. It was very weird. The same day I watched this movie, I did a mini photo shoot and look how freaking big my eyes were. The singer wrote alongside the photo shoot pictures. I mean, my eyes have never been that big. It's actually kind of crazy, and they aren't retouched at all. Coincidence, maybe? (laughs) She said, and this is like, this is powerful, I think. If the power of what you see and hear can influence your life that much, I mean, literally stay away from bad people and raise your awareness with high energy people. That's what I learned from this. And watch Big Eyes while you're at it. <laughs> Thank you. And then, and then it says hashtag ad, which is weird. Hashtag ad for the 2014 Sony Pictures film. No, uh, for 2014's Big Eyes. I wish somebody would make a movie called Strong Muscles Big Wiener. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick to channel that. So that's Britney Spears just coming in. 
I would just hope I started recording. I jumped in on the boys. Normally we talk about what we're going to talk about the beginning. I started the recording and just absolute called shot. Like, I hope Britney Spears is on some dope shit. And there she is. Just Britney talking about how good 2014 Big Eyes is. Did you guys see Big Eyes? No. no. I can't say I did. It's good. It's an okay little flick. That's what I'll say. It's okay. This has been Big Eyes Watch, I guess. More like Britney watches Big Eyes Watch. Yeah, we're watching. Oh, damn. Let's revisit. Let's do Sc- Britney Watch Scoob Watch. Get her take on Scoob. <laughs> um, hey, can we start doing the show? I feel like we got a lot of uh, a lot of gas in the tank. And I, well, I actually have. I, I have. Uh, if, if it's not Riddle Me Piss, then you can. It's, it's not Riddle Me Piss. Okay. This is a different thing. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody. We, uh, you know, that we finished the Max Fun Drive. It was very uh, surprisingly. What do you think? Just pe- play along at home, or a lot of people were, were giving, Hard and we weren't expecting all that support. It means the world. So uh, we always talk about how people support. Uh, we like to put back into the show. Feels like play along at home. So I made a bit of an investment here, yes. and I wasn't sure how this was going to play it. out. But uh, it, I have a special guest here. Hey, everybody! It's me, Dave Matthews. Oh. I was, okay. uh, my friend Travis reached out to me and asked permission to use some of my songs. And I, and he told me his idea. And I said, only if I can play two little baby. Dave, it's so cool to Dang. have you on the show. Uh, how have your sort of journeys been going, man? Tell me any, any <laughs> recent pilgrimages? Uh, mostly into my own mind. Just oh, man. Yeah. Okay. COVID yeah. Thing. Yeah. Uh, but I've that's been pro- tripping that's the- Yeah, that's probably for the best because of your sort of irresponsible sort of treatment of <laughs> yes. human waste while you are on. I've got a bad track record with my duty. <laughs> yeah. And I, I still feel bad about that. Say uh, out loud what you did. Uh, like the court ordered well, you to do? Well, it wasn't me, but my tour bus was filled with Dave Matthews shit. Well, and, not uh, just Dave Matthews, the shit of- The band shit, whole, yes. If thing. you think about how healthy that band eats, it's probably just cliff bars, though, huh? Just a big we tank get full a, of cliff bars. We get a bars. lot of roughage. And then cool. my tour manager dumped it over the side of a bridge in Chicago, if I remember correctly, and it landed on a boat full of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I still feel, still feel real terrible about that. Yeah, you should feel, but even if it hadn't landed on a boat full of people, Dave Matthews, you shouldn't make your boat shit over a bridge. Well, <laughs> uh, in in recompense, I, I haven't pooped in over 20 years. Fantastic. So <laughs> I will say about Dave Matthews, though, a lot of celebs have some black marks on their career. I do have to say in the grand scheme of things, he made his bus take a shit on a boat. <laughs> it's not the worst. No. It's not the worst. Uh, so Travis and I have cooked up a little game for you all, and here's the theme song. We fish at each other, wondering what the other is fishing. I remember being fish, okay. laying under the table and fishing. Uh, thank you, Dave. I'll take it from here. So this game is called uh, Laying Under the Table and Fishing. And what we've got here, I've got a collection of Dave Matthews lyrics. And right. fish lyrics, like the uh, band PH, the band PH fish, fish, and okay. I'm going to read them. And and these different uh, rounds, they can be any combination of Dave Matthews Band lyrics and fish lyrics. And Justin Griffin, I want you to guess which is uh, which is which. I think we I understand. ironically enjoy both of these bands. Is I that do about as well. To be challenged. No, I do as well. Okay. I do as well. They just okay. have a similar jam feeling. I mean, ants marching slaps ass and. I will cede a few more points to Mr. Matthews. Uh, Mr. Ma- Mr. Uh, Matthews. I'm sorry. I just wanted to jump back in here. A lot of my music slaps ass, Griffin. It's very good. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. All right. I'm Let's not go. proud of everything I've done in my life. Dave, can I talk to Travis? Made, like when you t- made your bus take a shit on a boat. I, yes, I feel terrible about that. I've I've already said I've been blocked up for years because yeah. of the guilt. You're kind of turning into a Southern grandpa, Dave Matthews band. Well, I go back. No one really knows where I'm from. South Africa. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I've traveled so much. All right. Now, uh, sorry, Dave. Sorry, we're running out of time here, Dave. All right. Round feels one. Feels like it. Boy, it feels like it more and more every episode. Round one. Caught you just then. Hands were in the cookie jar. How can we share when you sneak up and go? 
I've no intention of losing my beard. How they design, and then we go again. Fish. I'm going to say fish just because Trey Anastasio oft has a beard, and I don't think I've ever seen Dave Matthews. And he beard. loves cookies. He Incorrect. That is Dave Matthews from Fuck. Kit Kat Jam. Damn it. Kit Kat, he did a song called Kit Kat Jam? Kit Kat Jam. Loves those. <laughs> that I love. I love you give me a break. Whoa, that was weird. You picked up the sentence right where Travis left off. Travis and I have been together so long now. We finish yeah. each other's sentences. All right. You've been there for all of Travis's major recent life events, like when he picked up a not great Dave Matthews impression. Well, I live inside Travis now. This is, it's a being John Malkovich journey we're on. Yeah. All right. Uh, next lyric. I had to get away. I was losing my interest. Instead of expanding my world, I was just scanning Pinterest. Okay, wait. I want to say Dave Matthews. That feels too concrete for fish. Uh, I'm going to say fish every round and hope that I get some right. Griffin is correct. That is fish. Things great. people do. Okay, That's one a more great round name one. for a song. Great name for a tune. Woman, please. I'm in your possession. You are my obsession. Let me go down. Down, Dave down, Matthews down, band. down, Dave, down, Dave down, band. down, Dave down. Band. 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 If I if I don't hop on that boat when Tr Justin feels so certain about it and get dumped on by that beautiful band's bus. <laughs> hop on the boat, Griffin. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. It was Dave Matthews Band 7. So it's Justin 1, Griffin 2. Okay, you ready? Round 2. And then one day, you find to your in intense delight that three wrong turns can really make a right. So why not be like me? Be proud of all your crimes. Because when I screw up once, I do it two more times. That's fish. That is David Matthews man. I'm the David Matthews man. No, it is fish. Fuck. Justice Craig, it's two and two. That's from Fish's Blaze On. Next one. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would I want to? I like coffee with toast and jelly, but I'd rather be licking from your back to your belly. Fucking Dave Matthews. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think me? I'm <gasps> going to. <gasps> <laughs> it's obviously <gasps> Dave Matthews. Whoever it is, I'm wearing a wire, and I've been waiting for this moment to arrest David Matthews, man. <laughs> you for these it was me, it's David a... Matthews, from my song Shake Me Like a Monkey. Okay. If you fucking that Dave. That sucks, if, Dave. if a lyric, here's a hint. There's my secret tip. If a lyric sends you looking for a hang-up button that does not exist... <laughs> Who who is this? Hey Dave, how did hey, you get this number? David Matthews man, can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Is it one con uninterrupted lick? Yes. Okay, which <laughs> axis do you rotate the woman on? <laughs> Oh, I have a lathe. <laughs> I That's, I'm glad you have a woman lathe, David Matthews man. I only I don't... use it consensually. No, I know, but does it go and sort of concentrically? Okay, but little are... baby, fantastic. <laughs> you got you're dodging the question. Do you go height <gasps> height wise or <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like from back it to depends your belt. on the day. It do, it shouldn't. That's that's a great deal of distance different. If you go from her back and then you go around her like side of her tummy to her belly button, you're traveling, the, you know, half of the cir the width circumference mm -hmm. of the what. But if you go from back and then over her head and down her face or down the down the butt is another mm. option, Dave. And I feel like the, we're talking about a few different sort of tongue experiences. It all depends on how much time I have in my schedule. Uh, are there more? Is there are more. Day? Okay. Round three. Currently, I believe it's two and two. Okay. Oh, and no, how, three and three. How could it possibly be round three? If you give, you... Okay, sorry. If you give, you, you begin to live. If you give, you begin to live. You begin, you get the world. If you give, you begin to give. You get the world, you get the world. If you give, you begin to live. Dave... That was you, Dave, wasn't it? I'm going to say fish because that feels like a jam sort of It lyric. was me, Dave Matthews. I can't God, I don't know what that means. Dave Matthews man kind of breaks sometimes and you got to you got to get a little needle and you got to yeah. push it in his little reset indentation and it's either on his back or his belly. In my <laughs> in his dimple. Uh that's okay, it. So that, that's, that was Dave. That's wow. Dave. Congratulations. Okay, guys. yeah. So it's 4 to 3. Griffin is winning and that's from the song You Might Die Trying. Okay, next one. I, I, legally, you have to tell me how many more fucking questions there are left. One last one. I'm not all bad, but I'm a faithful sinner. I might get lost, but I'll be home for dinner. 
If, if God don't like me, he can send me to hell. But I love the way you love me, girl. I love uh, the way you move. I need to change the Dave. It's Dave. Ma- if he says that, if he mentions girl, I feel like Fish doesn't fuck like that. Dave Matthews band is like, get on my lathe, girl. I'm going to say Dave Matthews man. Uh, it was the Dave Matthews man. Yes. Griffin wins five to four, but it was a wow. good, good battle. Thank the, the, Dave Matthews. Um, every lyric Dave Matthews writes is like a very creative pervert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and every a song that Fish writes is like a Harlequin with gout. If yeah. it's a medieval Harlequin yes. or some sort of like jester in a dark c- carnival, uh, that that feels more like Fish. I just want to remind everyone that my song Crash uh, is about a man spying on a woman through a window. I love songs about perverts. Yeah. <laughs> Stop getting married to it. I love perverts. Okay. I might not be one myself, but I celebrate <laughs> their know, whole they, deal. They, Thank they, you so much for listen. having me. Um, do you guys have any snacks or a bathroom I could use? Okay, goodbye. Thank you, Dave. This is our advice show, obviously. Oh, you're uh, kidding me. <laughs> we're 16 minutes in. We're just now laying out. I don't think we can say that fucking anymore. It is. It's a Dave Matthews show where we sometimes tell people what to do. I'm in an air travel related pickle. Next month, I'm moving from Japan to the Czech Republic. I'm in the midst of packing things to ship over, which is expensive as shit. And I got three hats I refuse to part with. A couple of bowlers and a wide brim hat. Problem is they don't fit the last box or my suitcase. I can already see what you're about to ask. And So how many hats is too many hats to wear on an airplane without getting caught? Stopped? How many hats can I wear before I'm... <laughs> Too suspicious, and that's from Mariah. Okay, I can say from experience, I have worn one hat, and I've had to remove it, yeah, so they could pat my hair and tell yeah. me I'm a good boy. Yeah, and then they smelled their hand for a long time. Yeah, yeah. so too long one, after that, I will just say one hat. And now mm. I think you're asking several questions here, Mariah, right? Because I don't think, I don't know about the travel laws of either Japan or Czech Republic, but I don't think there's anything illegal about no. wearing more than one hat onto an airplane. No, I mean, we can't wager a guess at the sort of cultural uh, uh, differences that would uh, sort of aid us in answering this question. Um, I do think we can say that I can't imagine a society where three hats is great. Well, I want to hit you guys with a question. This yeah. is a theoretical question. What? Okay. Is there a place Hmm. that is less suspicious to put a second hat than on top of the first hat? Because I'm sitting here thinking about it, like, what if you put it here or here or here? I feel like any place you put the second hat is going to be more weird than on top of the first hat. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fair? (laughs) Could you safety pin the hats together? Okay. So that one hat goes on top of your head, and the other two hang down on either side of your head. Okay. Okay. So and and That's and just call it fashion. So well, because oh, this is fashion. It's fashion. I feel like you could have one on a carabiner on your waist. That's <laughs> fucking just says, great, Juice. Yeah. That's like, listen, I don't know what this day is gonna hold. This hat could get, I don't know, ruined. Uh huh. Yeah. And I don't maybe blown away by a jet engine. Could, could get blown away by a jet engine confiscated by a handsy TSA agent, yep. no one knows. Uh, uh, but I think having one, you, I think you could do one in a, on like a, on your waist, yep. on your belt hook. And for the third, let me suggest a big teddy bear. You put that hat on the teddy bear. That's Fuck, great. that's actually not bad, Travis. I God damn you. it. Well, well, I mean, it is, you've added, all you've done there is added a tremendous amount of bulk to your hat. It is one like of it, your carry-ons, yeah. It now becomes a carry-on. But you can't carry on a hat you can't be like I have but two carry ons, my backpack and this hat. I mean, um, this we, is my, and that's good for going through security too, because you're carrying a giant bear wearing a hat, and they'll <laughs> say that's adorable. You're like, yeah, his name is Mister Not Filled with Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. don't test him. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. Come what here, is doctor, more? Come here, Doctor Uzi Belly. <laughs> <laughs> what is more suspicious? Two hats or three hats? Uh, two hats is way more suspicious than three hats. Agreed. Yeah, because once you, if you, uh, here's the thing that's fucked up about what Travis said about it being fashion is if I saw somebody with two hats, I would think it was some sort of like 
shell game where something terrible is underneath one of the hats. If I see three hats on the person, I'll be like, mm, that must be the style. Right. For some three for hats, something. you're doing a thing. Right. You're doing right? a thing. Yeah. Now it's two an hat, affectation. Two hats, you're being an asshole. Right. <laughs> Two Unless hats, two you might, hats have, you might have put on a hat forgetting you already had a hat on. That's what I'm saying. Two hats, <laughs> this is my argument. Two hats raises the, and I think this is what we're get, finally getting to the meat of here. Two hats raises the question of, did they not remember that they had already placed a hat on their Correct. hat? Right. Three, there's just no way. We, we've kissed plausibility goodbye. It's a choice you're making. Now, and I can get on board with that if it's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> You've chosen this. I just remembered the types of hats we are talking about here, and it is two bowlers and a wide-brimmed hat. Oh, easy. So you go bowler, wide-brimmed hat, bowler, wide-brimmed hat sandwich, bada-bing, bada-boom, yeah. fashion. That is the way to do it. Yeah. I guess my question is, and please, Mariah, do not take this as a personal judgment on you, but there is no way to get through this sentence without it being explicitly that. Why Why? Why? why do you need these hats? Why do cool you... hats, Griffin. Two bowlers and a wide brim hat feels like when you're, especially when you're doing an uprooting of your life mm. from one sort of region to another. Yeah, clean slate. I think you should clean slate it. When I moved from Cincinnati to Chicago, I threw so much stuff in the dumpsters right behind the, the uh, shitty apartment that Travis and I lived in. I threw several swords away. You think I wanted to keep those swords? Yes. Absolutely, I did. <laughs> but sure but did. I'm starting over. I'm rebooting my life. Could, maybe maybe now in your new life, your Czech Republic life, you just have one hat that you're very proud of. May, uh, what if you wore all three hats, and as you walked into the terminal, you just kept shouting, hats for sale! 50 I've cents got hats for sale! Mm -hmm. And then you go through security, and then you continue yelling, hats yeah. for sale! Hats! And then everyone's like, why Why is that person wearing so many hats? Oh, obviously, it's because they're for sale. Now, obviously, there's a downside here. There is a, there is a risk where someone Somebody's buys your buy, hat. going to buy your yeah. hat, and then you right. don't have any more. Yeah. But that's a choice. I mean, at least you got that going for you now. You can buy another hat when you get there. Yes. I would make the argument at the risk of being too pragmatic about it. If you can't wear all three of these hats at the same time, you probably don't need three hats. Thank you. Huh. Well, yeah. Huh. But what about coordinating with different outfits? Mm, just get rid of the outfits that match the other two hats. Ah, but they only have three <laughs> outfits. What it's like, have you hat? never seen? It's like, have you never seen Doug? Like, uh, just wear the same outfit, and the same hat. Uh, all right, Doug never wore a bowler. <laughs> can you. we? He would have been chomping fucking BB's style if he did that. That's uh, true. Can we taskmaster this a little bit and okay. like try and wide? I think there's a way to do this without it being weird at all. Wide brim hat goes on the head. There is nowhere else that that is going yes. to go. The brim is far too wide. One bowler, you 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 put some elastic on it and put that around your face. That's your mask, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now we just have one more hat to conceal. And I feel like so far, boys, I've done the lion's share of the work on this. Okay. I so if you can it. tell me where the other hat goes, where it's not going to be weird. You're going Don't to... say under the shirt and say it's like no. a tummy. Okay. No. You're going to uh, clip two straps onto it, sling it over your shoulders. Now it's like a hat pack, you know? It's kind yeah, of like, oh, like that's like a, a cool looking backpack. It looks like the, just like a bowler. Thanks. It's a hat. <laughs> Thanks. It's just a regular hat. What do you keep? You like take out to show them and just like packs of loose gum <laughs> fall out of it. It's very bad and ineffective. It's a hat pack. What it's do you keep pack. in it? What do you keep in it? The hat. <laughs> it takes my hat from one to another. <laughs> I do think though you could do the like neck thing, like hang it like a safari guy uh -huh. yeah. from, from your neck hanging to your back, and maybe no one would question it. I yeah. think you might be able to get away with that actually. I actually think now that I'm thinking about it, with all the TSA agents here in the United States that I've encountered, they yeah. would be like, Are there drugs or a bomb or whatever in that? And I'd be like, No, and they'd be like, Then just keep please keep moving. Please we have a lot guys. of people to get through and I don't care about your dumbass hats. Uh, hey, can I do a Yahoo? Please. I'm so excited for this one. It's sent by the Prospector Merritt Palmer. Mariah, I'm not saying your hats are dumb. I'm saying all my hats are dumb. N no, I'm not saying Mariah's hats are dumb. I'm saying two of them are. Okay. And, you, and one of them is good. And that's the, that's the one to really invest in. 
Okay. It's a, it's this Yahoo's asked by Yahoo Answers user Hanging Bat. Uh, and I'll be honest with you boys, I mostly want to talk about this one for the responses. Hanging Bat asks, "Poll, if you were a recipe, mm-hmm. what ingredients would I need?" Big huh. open mouth smiley face emoticon. Is this a sexy thing? <clears throat> um, I mean, you read it like that. It's on Yahoo Answers, so it's going to be for some people. Okay. If uh, I, I was t- a recipe, not not what food would I be, but what ingredients? Yeah. Huh. So we have 10 responses okay. to this. Okay. 10 Yahoo Answers users have weighed in and given their rest their person. I'm on uh, allrecipes.com looking at these users' uh, recipes to make them as human beings as they are known on the earth today. And each one is a slam dunk in a different way, which I've okay. never really seen before. And I would like to just sort of do them. These are from two days ago, by the way. Merrick got this one hot and fresh out the kitchen. P says, everything sweet and a large oven. Tongue huh. sticking out emoticon. Weasel McWeasel says, a healthy dose of no quit with a liberal splash of charm and wit. Now, That's good. But those aren't ingredients that you can buy. I can't go to the store and be like, where is your don't quit? Travis, you can't approach this. I need you to come at this with the open and honest heart of a child's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I understand that, but I was sitting here thinking about, I don't know, some salt. Like, I was, like, trying to do okay. it. Uh, Travis's recipe is a fucking little pair of glasses he can push up his nose when he's being an <laughs> asshole. Pince- about Pince-nay. Please. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, this one's yeah. A little big man says a heart, and as the song goes, Handel me with care. <laughs> the, oh. You know the song from I guess the composer H- Handel uh, me with care. Uh, Cheese brain does say tequila, mix orange juice or some Sprite will be fine. Add loads of ice. That's now listen, a screwdriver. Those, I think, but those are ingredients. It's not a screwdriver. If you want to make Travis, right. you need blood and bones and skin <laughs> and some goo for the eyeballs. But what of the soul? I don't. What of the, what call of the God. Soul, put, don't put a soul in there. All right, Elliot. Okay. That's rough. Elliot the Corgi says lots of fur, vanilla ice cream, and a cozy hoodie, hun. And then wait, a dog lots home. of and fur. Then a, lots of fur. Please let me finish. Okay. This one got. This is the only one. Of these 10 answers, you can give the answers a thumbs up or a thumbs down. This one has two thumbs up and one thumbs down. It's the only one that somebody said, no. <laughs> Lots of fur, vanilla ice cream, and a cozy hoodie, hun, and then a dog emoji. And I don't know if the dog is part of it. The do- what? Okay, read the username. Elliot the Corgi. Thank you. It's a Corgi. Yeah, okay. yeah. Got the ability to use a computer. Then why the hoodie? Now, the hoodie is a good question because it's weird enough you're on the internet. You don't need to draw more attention to yourself by wearing a hoodie. Uh, well, uh, I, I, dogs have nature's hoodie. And I love a I love a corgi too. But that is, and please, corgi user, actually go ahead and tweet at me, corgi lovers. They're not the best smelling breed of dog. They got that coarse hair. They sweat a lot. They're low to the ground. They pick up a lot of detritus. I don't want to continue What is the best smelling dog? Recycling that. What's the best smelling dog? Uh huh. Hmm. Mm. Chocolate lab, because it smells like chocolate. Is that what? <laughs> is that what you mean? Uh, A B C A M E. Griffin, I'm at, sorry. Does it? Does it smell like chocolate? Uh, yeah. A B C A M E says egg whites, granulated sugar, cream of tar- tartar, tartar or tartar. Nobody's quite sure. Vanilla no. extract. So they. That's Travis. Actually, yes, Travis. Thank you. My, my friend, fucking Hal A. Pino says high octane grain alcohol matches and the ability to run really, really, really fast. Can you handle it? <laughs> fucking nice. Just the idea. <laughs> Someone's like, "How fast do you run?" <laughs> like, really, really, really fast. We're gonna burn some shit down. Why? Because we're making this Yahoo Answers user in the lab. Here, I'm gonna read the ingredients to this one first, and then I'll read the username. Just a vat of high fructose corn syrup and a mold that looks like a roach. Huh. And that's from Yahoo Answers user Gummy Roach. Oh. 
They didn't make this account to answer this question. They have eight. They have answered 8,634 questions. They have 314,000 points. This is a power user. This person's name I can't read because it's made out of weird characters, but I think it might say Shadow. Shadow says spice, spice, and more spice. No, why? Don't you? Spice as hot as pepper's spice, so hot you can't handle it. I'm talking about Carolina Reaper hot, the world's hottest pepper. So okay. I guess just one ingredient. I guess Shadow is... Just a big pepper? Also, Shadow, I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but spice is like a category of food. Like, you wouldn't, like, in a recipe, be like, you know, add eggs and butter and some spice. Uh, this username is corrupted in some way. I can't read it. It's just like two blank boxes. It says passion fruit and Turkish delight. So they're bringing up the rear with the weakest result there. But, um, yeah. But I do like, I like any of these that I could go, okay, well, I'm going to make this person. The gummy roach? I could make that. You could make like, that, per- that, that. That one wins Travis's prize. Um, right, but it, if it's like, can't can do attitude and a whole bunch of don't quit, can you handle that? I'm like, that's not helpful. That's like if I said how to make a cake and you said lots of sweet and delicious. Fuck you. That's nothing. I feel like that could get most people there, though. Yeah. If I said make a cake and they said, what do I need to make it? I say, you just need some delicious in there. They'd be like, I'm on it. Now, Yahoo Answers user Hanging Bat responded, updated the question three days ago that said, too hot to handle, lol. And I don't know what that's responding to. No fucking idea what that's responding to. I'm guessing the Carolina Reaper won. Did they win? Well, anyway, what was the recipe for YouTube voice? Uh, um, for mine, it would be can do attitude and don't quit. And three eggs and some blood. Mine would be probably neutral colored shorts. Uh huh. Um, and then I think you could just kind of improvise the rest of it. Yeah, like the the neutral colored shorts are so essential to my recipe. Yeah. Like if yeah. you it, my recipe on all recipes would be like neutral shorts soup and then in parentheses griffin mcelroy soup yeah because uh-huh. that's what they call it in some regions mine would be a mustard seed faith and a world-class hog huh <coughs> now <laughs> huh okay with mountains i was just okay. with which with which <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> i have faith in my hog and what? Travis's was Travis's was uh, eggs and blood and can't do attitude because he didn't want to play. Okay, do you want to hear mine? <laughs> no, no, you did yours. You just said no. you didn't want to play, and now you get I to said sit. No, you, that it you was get blood to sit and bones. You stay in the dugout because you didn't want to play. And the coach put me and Justin, and we're out here fucking swinging, smashing homers. Well, if you want to make a Travis, then you need some tea for tasting. And you need some R for ravishing. The game's already over. He's still and you running need around some the bases. A for ass. Still and you need some V for virginity now. The and you need some I <laughs> for indecent. Long ago, and somebody you need some left S with for the cup. sex A. And he's still going around. And then you need some M for <laughs> um, for listen, mascarpone. And mascarpone. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. And when we return to you, uh, here just after the music we'll be talking about some beloved sponsors so get there for that Squarespace it's time my friends time for the uprising you've been oh, too, doing too much in the meat space and it's time to do it in the Squarespace, you're going to build a website, not just any website, a beautiful website that stands out and changes the world. It's time to disrupt. It's time to showcase your work, sell products and services of all kinds, promote your physical or online business, and more. And, and what's that and more? Whatever you can dream. You can dream it. You can do it with beautiful, customizable templates created by world-class designers. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box. Analytics that help you grow in real time, free and secure hosting, and nothing to patch or upgrade ever. You will not be stopped. You will always be moving forward. You will always be closing by going to squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace, conquer. 
conquer it all. You got me ready to like overthrow the fucking economy and yeah. government. Yeah, dude, let's disrupt. Nothing, all the other stuff that has happened until now that has been so bad. Yeah. That wasn't, this was the domino. This was this the V for it. Vendetta. You knocked that shit right over. That's right. Can you imagine if V and V for Vendetta was like, yes, we have to stop all of this, all of this horrible stuff. And also look at the website I created. It's <laughs> got photos of all my travels and some of check. the pages are password now, protected. And now Natalie Portman, check this out. Click. <laughs> A Stitch Fix also. The government tried to shut down my hamster dance. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, can't stop the signal. Wait, no. isn't that from That's Serenity? I love that one. movie. Great flick. Uh, Stitch Fix <laughs> is here to give us boxes of clothes so we don't go to clothes store. And we bring the clothes store to us, except it's not even like that because you have a, a personal stylist who you give a little profile for, and they will figure out what clothes are going to look really good. All these boxes are personalized just for you and your color styles and budget. And uh, you get you get nice looking clothes, and you pay a twenty dollars styling fee for each uh, fix that is sent your way, which is credited towards anything you keep. And you can uh, schedule it for for any time. You can change your your schedule whenever you want. Uh, I I have been getting them every month, but I don't leave the house anymore, so I've bumped it back to every, once every two months, and it's no big deal. It's, it was real fucking easy. There's no subscription required. Shipping, returns, and exchanges are always easy and free. You only pay for what you keep. Uh, and you can get started today at stitchfix.com slash my brother, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash my brother for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. One last time, stitchfix.com slash my brother. Hi, I'm Allie Gertz. And I'm Julia Prescott, and we host Round, Round Springfield. Springfield. Round Springfield is a new Simpsons podcast that is Simpsons adjacent. Mm -hmm. um, in its topic, we talk to Simpsons writers, directors, voiceover actors, you name it, about non-Simpsons things that they've done because, surprise, they're all extremely talented. Absolutely. For example, David X. Cohen worked on The Simpsons, but then created a little show called Futurama. Mm -hmm. That's our very first episode, so yeah. tune in for stuff like that with Yardley Smith, with Tim Long, with different writers and voice actors. It's going to be so much fun. And we are every other week on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Oh? Yeah. I want a munch. Squaw. I want to munch. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast. This is a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. I am so excited because uh, America has decided to pretend that coronavirus does not exist. And as a result, our fast food chains are beginning to uh, awaken from their uh, great slumber uh, for new creations, new ideas, fresh thinking. And who does fresh better than Chipotle? Oh, is I, that rhetorical or is that a real question? No, I mean, there's, there's, I mean, uh, if you would have said like a, a Hardee's, I would have given you some, some, some shit. But I feel like Chipotle is some, uh, middle of the pack. You're thinking fresh? You're thinking Chipotle. They did the fucking Fiona Apple commercial. Yeah. Well, this one is new, and Chipotle is launching the Tony Hawk burrito. Huh. <laughs> fresh as hell. Chipotle Mexican Grill on Monday. This one's fucking fresh. Oh, the box Jesus. came out to, today. The Chipotle Mexican Grill on Monday announces teaming up with skating legend and brand superfan Tony Hawk oh, boy. to offer his go-to Chipotle order exclusively on the Chipotle <laughs> app and Chipotle.com. Wait, can I guess? Guess what his go-to yeah. order is? Sure, it's yeah. Just, it's just an empty burrito that he later puts a, a cold hot dog again. Is that it? <laughs> no, you're is very it a, close. Can I do a guess? Yeah, do a fun guess. It's a big burrito. He sticks four wheels on. They ride. Starting the day, the first 2,000 fat. Wait, let Griffin finish. Let Griffin finish. What's he do, Griffin? He rides it like a skateboard. Okay. Starting today, the and first And the wheels are tomatoes? Fans. No, they're wheels. Oh. I feel like I might be able to, if I act fast, I might be able to be among the first 2,000. <laughs> and you guys are clearly doing your own thing. <laughs> Someone just 
just try to get this uh, burrito real quick. Uh, the Tony Hawk, the first 2000 fans who ordered the Tony Hawk burrito made with brown rice, black beans, chicken, tomatillo, red chili salsa, uh, pink trucks from a skateboard and guacamole <laughs> will get access to the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 warehouse demo oh, fuck. for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. What a so, weird coincidence that like that this would co- like his brand super fanship would coincide with like a new Tony Hawk like video game experience. Yeah, it is very weird. Um that yeah, you're absolutely right, Travis. This is one of the stranger occurrences we've seen in our time. Uh those two have dovetailed magnificently together. Um Chipotle's uh, so I already said that on August 14th at 11 a.m. PT Anderson will direct a new motion picture <laughs> starting no, at uh, Pacific time. The launch will culminate in a two hour live stream from Chipotle's Twitch page that they have <laughs> featuring Tony Hawk, fellow skateboarder Jagger Eaton, <laughs> actor Finn Wolfhard. Fuck yeah. What? A, a sentient burrito, Mick Jagger, <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth, <laughs> all eating burritos slowly. <laughs> Still living uh, Elvis Presley. Now dead Elvis Costello. That's right. He'll be dead by August 14th, folks. No, it's just those first three. Um, They're going to be playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Warehouse Demo, and they're going to be giving out up to 5,000 free burritos to viewers throughout the stream. Now, it says they're going to give out up to 5,000 free burritos. I do like the the reality where they're like, we've given away 4,000 of these bad boys. The next 1,000 are coming home with us. Hi, it's me, Finn Wolfhart. Oh, no, not again. (laughs) Yeah, anyway, (laughs) I want 30 burritos (laughs) delivered to my home, and the cost on that will be, oh, let me stop you right there. It's zero. <laughs> this first of its kind menu integration gives our fans a chance to eat like the greatest skater of all time <laughs> and get access to the demo for one of the summer's most anticipated video game releases, says Chris Brandt, chief marketing officer. Real athletes lead, need real food. And Chipotle is excited to continue being part of Sony's training routine, whether it's competing at the skate park or in a video game. Hey, this isn't the first time somebody has sold a food item because a celebrity liked it at their, at their store, right? Like that's people have been doing that for, let me check all of the time of restaurants. Yeah. But it's this one's Tony Hawk. Oh, it's a burrito. Um, I just want to step in here very briefly. Um, I, I I know that Tony Hawk body, Tony Hawk's body, (laughs) the body of Anthony Frank Hawk. Yeah. The Birdman's body and my body have several <laughs> chemical and physical differences. We can all agree on this, yes, right? Yes. This is granted. This is settled law. Yeah. The man is 52 years old. Yeah. And if I were to make a list of things he felt like doing after pounding a burrito, <laughs> I can almost guarantee you skateboarding would be extremely low on the list. Tony Hawk has been a Chipotle celebrity card holder. Whatever what? the fuck that means. It's an, a, it's an exclusive membership tier afforded to famous friends of the brand that grants recipients free meals and catering since 2013. Holy shit. What? Did you guys hear this? Wait, yeah, I'm what? hearing it now, baby. Are you hearing this? I'm Are you hearing it now, it? baby? Tony Hawk has been a Chipotle celebrity card holder, an exclusive membership tier afforded to famous friends of the brand that grant recipients free meals and catering since 2013. Hey, hey Chipotle, I was just kidding. I love you. Chipotle? I love yeah, Chipotle. I take it all it's fucking good. back. I was just joking. You're, you're great. And I've always, hey, I've always been a fan. And Justin and Griffin have never loved you like I love. You. Chipotle burritos are a favorite way to refuel after long skate sessions, adds me. <laughs> no, it's Tony Hawk. Uh, uh, it's a blast to see the enthusiasm for Chipotle, skating, and video games continue to grow and inspire a new generation of presumably burrito eaters. <laughs> uh, whether you're a veteran THPS player or new to the game, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 TM has something for everyone. And also... The burritos. Still. <laughs> still the burritos. Chipotle has amassed around 27,000 followers on Twitch. 
like finales for the Chipotle Challenger Series, the brand's marquee esports tournament that allows amateur gamers to compete against gaming stars and celebrities, have been live streamed on Chipotle's Twitch, along with exclusive musical performances. I, it's me, Mick Jagger. What an honor it is. <laughs> what an honor it is to be playing on the Chipotle Twitch channel. Start me up. The first 2,000 account holders to order the Tony Hawk burrito on the Chipotle mobile app or at order.chipotle.com will receive a code to the email associated with the account, allowing the recipient to access a demo version of the relaunch of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater TM1, TM, and 2 TM video game ESRB rated T for team. Cool. I think they do a cuss in uh, Superman by Goldfinger, so that's why it's not E for uh, everyone. I, uh, I, 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 here's the problem. I want to order this to get the code. I, play the I game. don't want to go pick up a burrito. Mm-hmm. I'm recording a podcast, um, and I really don't want my wife to answer the door, and a man in a mask says, here's Tony Hawk's burrito. Yeah. Because that's going to be hard for her to park. Unless it is the, the Birdman himself. Or a Birdman's bird man. hand. <laughs> Squeak! What, what? <laughs> Enjoy your remastered skateboarding game. Oh, my, my wife is a big fan of Michael Keaton, yeah. so she might enjoy that, that's actually. Uh, it's just a joke. No, the movie had him in it. Yeah, it's just a fun. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a fun goof that Just One's doing. It's just a goof. I recently decided to shed my hoarder lifestyle and embrace a more minimalistic approach. And it's been going well so far. I threw away all my hats. <laughs> uh, one problem, though, uh, what do I do with the yearbooks? I have one for each year, K through twelve, and I never look at them. Donating seems weird since it's such a weirdly personal item. My name is usually pinned with the inside cover, messages from classmates, etc. But it also seems wrong to just throw them away. Am I doomed to carry them forever? That's from Yearbook Eater. I mean, you could keep them in your basement in Chicago and then a fateful flood will take care of it for you like <laughs> I did. That fateful flood, boy, I was traveling around with uh, a huge cardboard box full of keepsakes. And then I had two paper Trader Joe's bags full of things like uh, uh, yearbooks and 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 the like, and that great flood. Ooh, the great the great flood of uh, 2010. Done took care of most of them for me. So, uh, and it was rough for a while. I still get sad to think about the things that I lost in there. But whenever I move, wicked easy, wicked fast. That is so. I think that uh, the yearbooks fall under the category of like things that you keep because you convince yourself that someday someone else will want to know that thing about you. That like, you know, I think about this now with two kids that hypothetically someday my kids will be in like high school and they're like, I want to see daddy in high school. But let's be honest, that's not going to happen. I'm going to keep them long enough to show them to them. And then they're going right. to be like, okay, I don't care. We're all flying around in like jetpacks and like hover dogs now and shit. Like, what do I give two shits about the fact that you were in some club in, in high school? Yeah. And so now it's just like, well, now I've lugged this around f- like forever. Hey, what if we, and I'm just going to throw this out. I'm going to disrupt the whole yearbook uh, industry. Well, it's careful, Travis. Are you thinking Digital about what that would do? Oh, yearbooks. God. Whoa. That's it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I imagine they're already doing that. Oh. Probably. It seems like it's happening already. I would. I would well, but if jump. not, TM, TM, TM. Justin's got that cloud tech. That's on the next I, level. I actually don't have any cloud tech. I'm sorry. No, 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 Justin. <laughs> Justin's. Yeah, that's I heard you. I no, just don't have any no, cloud. Uh, not just. It's Justin and Travis <laughs> and Gravin. Um, my brother, my brother, and Ma. Uh, oh, I, hi, man. Justin. Here's here. Uh, flood notwithstanding, I I a couple times had to pare down my like collection of keepsakes because I feel like there is a. I feel like actually the yearbook is one of the best sort of nostalgia per square inch that you can possibly like keep around, right? Like if you're going to toss all your other uh, keepsakes or whatever, I feel like the yearbook is literally a bunch of p- literal paper thin old nostalgia drops. And I, I kind of, mm. the, the few that survived that fateful flood, I have like enjoyed looking back on like every two years or so. Could you? Go through and just remove the pages that have okay. nothing to do with you. That's great. And then combine that. all of them, all your yearbooks, into one long like school book. 
Yeah. That includes all the years, but only the ones that pertain to you. Because streamline cool. it. Yeah. Like if you're, you know, if you're in 12th grade, do you care about the kids who are in ninth grade? No. Yeah, no. You don't know them. Cut them then out. Go, you can go through all your photos and photo albums too and just like tear apart the ones that you're not like really a featured player in. Yeah. And then go through all the books you own. Yeah. And if the if the author wasn't nice enough to include you in that book, Gonzo's I don't I'm just saying I'm that not in. Maybe you go through your yearbook, you touch yeah. each kid's face, and you think, does this face spark joy in me? And if right. not, you burn you it out with out a cigarette. In you know? One by one. It's totally normal. <laughs> it's just a totally cool thing to do as that as everyone you, does. And you mark your name off a big list. <laughs> You don't you don't burn each photo twice over the eyes. That would be fucking wild. What Just a waste. one cigarette burn in the middle of the face, and then you yeah. move on. Now you will want to check and make sure the kid behind that kid on the other page you also don't like. That is the one thing. Uh, can I change the subject briefly? Okay. Yeah. This is the shit that drives me crazy. Is these brands put out these deals, <laughs> and then they're like, if they, if you actually try to do it, it's imp- you can't. It's like they don't ever expect you to actually do the dumb thing they said to do, right? So I go to order Chipotle.com or whatever the fuck, and I'm like, let me get that Tony Hawk burrito. Right. And it is not listed anywhere on the page. I know the ingredients of it. I'm wondering if it's like a code oh. where I have to put in the right ingredients. You know what I mean? And then and then it'll just... Didn't you say that they announced it today, but the press release said August 14th? No, that's when it culminates with Finn Wolfhard playing Tony Hawk <laughs> against Tony. Oh, right, right, right. right. Death. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to try. If you guys are okay with this, I, we don't normally do this, but I'm going to try to call my local Chipotle. Okay, but don't put him on speaker. I'm not going to put him on speaker, friend. I'm just going to call my local Chipotle. Okay. And you guys will just hear my part of it. Okay. So I'm not, you won't hear them. Justin's really good on the phone. I wish I was as good as Justin on the phone. Please don't take me out. Okay. A strong and confident voice. There's just there's a voicemail message. If you're calling about, about the Tony Hawk burrito, press <laughs> nine. They're, they're, they're talking about the dining room precautions they've taken. That's good. From people I like that. Just can't help but eat inside to play. Yes. Do you like extreme burrito experiences? Yes. Are you? Do you friends? like fresh, mostly fresh ingredients? Were you fucking in Stranger Things? <laughs> Do you think you could totally pwn Tony Hawk in his <laughs> game? Hey, um, Tony Hawk is doing a Chipotle promotion where if you order a special Tony Hawk burrito, you get a demo of the game. And I, they said you have to do it online. You have to be the first 2,000 people. So I feel like the clock's kind of ticking on me. And I can't find a way to order the Tony Hawk burrito. Do you know anything about it? Or do I sound like an absolute lunatic to you right now? Yes, it's Justin. Hey, how's it going? That it's I'm pretty good. No, this hold on. Can I okay. Can I I'm recording our episode of my brother, my brother me right now. Can I put you on speaker real quick? Okay, great. Hold on one second. Okay, what was your what was your name again, please? It's Haley. Haley, um, have you so you have you heard about this Tony Hawk burrito? No, I haven't. Okay, this isn't I'm not making this up and you knew me from sound, so I'm imagining you know I'm not making it up too. No, no, not not at all. No, this yeah, this is a thing that's happening, but they have not corporate has not communicated to you that this is a thing that is going on, correct? Okay, so don't you think it's kind of shitty to be like, no, I'm, no, I'm not going to ask you to say something Chipotle is doing is shitty because like that's your employer and I don't want to mess up your whole situation there. But um, shitty. what? No, it's really shitty. You don't have Haley. You don't have to take fucking swings at Chipotle <laughs> for, for, for our benefit. Um, it's okay, Haley. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to get yourself in trouble. I'm not, I'm just saying that um, I just think it kind of stinks uh, that Chipotle is doing this. And I would like to, if you hear, and you definitely have not heard anything about a Tony Hawk burrito. Is that correct? Okay. 
Well, um, Chipotle, uh, Chipotle, Haley, thank you so much. This is my brothers, Travis and Griffin. They're on the line. Hi. Too. Hear Hi. Sorry. He um, just called you Chipotle Haley. But, well, I mean, she's a, it, Haley. I'm sorry if I get you in trouble with Chipotle. Um, we can offer you a position in the McElroy for franchise if, if something like that happens, or maybe we can try to buy that Chipotle. Oh, 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 Haley, do you know anything about the VIP membership that you can get at Chipotle if you're a celebrity? Tony Hawk has it, and I was just wondering if you had a form somewhere. I don't have it, but I can ask. For you. Okay, that's okay. I don't want you to take it to take a bit more of your valuable time. Uh, thank you so much, Haley. <laughs> okay, I, I appreciate you. Have a great day. All right, have one. Bye. Bye. Okay, clearly Haley what Haley wasn't telling us everything. No, I mean yeah, yeah. Haley is definitely holding out. We're all agreed yeah, on I'm this. I'm sorry, right? Haley, this I hate to put you on blast, but clearly Haley knows more than they're telling us. I think Haley was busy either creating or eating or selling one of the last few Tony Hawk burritos, and she also <laughs> like definitely, definitely has gotten people into the VIP yeah, freebie club. For, for sure. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure, but, for sure, but, for sure. For but sure. boy, we really can't do that anymore, huh? Especially no. you, Justin. Yeah. I feel like you cannot call local places anymore. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's this fucking it's, it's this fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking the, guy. the fucking uh acapella guy warned me about you. You you like to call fucking <laughs> people on your podcast. Okay. Well here I feel like cool, I could do it. My voice is just so bland and ordinary that it would like it's hard to even pick it out, you know what I mean? Justin, are you doing okay? Because when she recognized who you were, I felt from, you know, however many thousand miles away from each other we are, like I felt your gonads go up in your body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As a yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, fight yeah, or yeah. flight response. It was not good. It didn't feel good. I felt like I was caught yeah, yeah. doing something wrong. And, you and I were, wasn't you actually doing it. You were doing it. No, no, I'm not. I just want to know if they heard about the Tony Hawk burrito. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, for, for sure. sure. I forget what we were talking about, but I can't talk about anything else. I need to go lie down. Yeah, this is quite a thing. Um, thank you so much to everybody for listening to our podcast. We love you very much. Thank you to Haley. Uh, we'll be checking in with you <laughs> periodically <laughs> to make sure. Oh, and by the way, Chipotle, obviously, if anything happens to to Haley as a result of her participation in this, we are coming for you, and you will not enjoy oh, it. This is not an shit. idle threat. We have a certain Ask set anybody. of skills. <laughs> we have a certain set of skills. Hey, you know what? I can actually, in this, <laughs> in this exact situation... <laughs> <laughs> this exact situation. I can say with a straight face that I do yes. have a particular set of <laughs> skills that make me a nightmare for people like If you. there's one thing the McElroy brothers are known for, it's weaponizing our audience to annoy big corporations <laughs> into letting us do right. stuff. We've so, only used yeah. that power to create before. I am kind of curious what it would feel like to destroy. Big news today. Uh, Chipotle was destroyed from the inside out by three weird <laughs> Weirdos. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, thanks again for, by the way, for supporting us in the Max Fun Drive. It really is very kind of you, and we we couldn't do this without you all. And um, we we it's just very touching every year. Honestly, I I keep I keep waiting for the year when it's zero and everybody wises yeah. up. But thank God it wasn't this year. Uh, yeah, there there um, will come a point, right? Just uh, law of averages. There will come a point when people are like, I think we've given enough. I yeah, think that, we've done that's enough. it. Yeah. We're doing well here. Um, thank you to uh, John Roderick and the Long Winters for the use for our theme song as a departure. Off the album, Putting the Days to Bed. Been going long and strong with that jam and keeping, it, keeping that wax spinning all summer long. Uh, Griffin, do you have a final Yahoo for us? I do, I do. Thank you to Maximum Fun, by the way, for having us on the yeah. network. Uh, Obviously. A, a few people sent this in. Thank you. It's an anonymous Yahoo Answers user who I'm going to call Kelly. Asks, in all caps, with many exclamation points and question marks. Does kissing your cat count as a first kiss? Oh, no. <laughs> it was an accident. It was an accident. McElroy. It was an accidental kiss. That's what oh, the okay. details say. I'm not going to read it. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.